Hey guys, a super short video for you today. Um, I'm just working on my radio for my Ford Fiesta Mark 6. And uh, I've got the facelift version of the Fiesta, which comes with this radio. And there's not very many videos of anyone taking these apart and uh, showing how to dismantle them. Uh, as I was trying to get mine apart before, I ended up breaking some clips and stuff. So I thought it would be a good idea to basically take it apart and uh, show you guys step by step how to take it apart so you can get this face off because at the minute I'm doing an LED conversion uh, turning these horrible green LEDs into nice bright blue ones there'll probably be another video on how to do the LED conversions because I'm still waiting on some LEDs like for the LCD screen and there's some more stuff that I'm waiting on because I ended up burning some pads and stuff in here but I double checked it on the car and those things, uh, some, some of the lights are working, some of the lights aren't. So I'm going back and reopening it. So I've done this before and I'm just going to show you guys step by step on how to do it. The first thing you're going to need is a T10 Torx bit. It'll look a bit like that. A little focus. Oh, I've just lost some bits. But yeah, it'll look like that. So I've put the T10 Torx bit on a ratchet just so it's easier for me. But you can do it with just a screwdriver like attachment to this because I've got a screwdriver attachment but it makes it a lot easier when it's on a ratchet. So I'm just gonna turn around the camera and we'll get into this. So the first thing you guys wanna do is you turn the radio from its face onto its side and there's two screws there, undo them, and there's another two on the other side. They're both T10s, like I said earlier. And then optionally, you can flip the radio up like this and you can take out these four screws as well. They're also T10s, so you it's the same tool for all the bolts in this. If you don't want to take these out, I think you can just pop the face straight off. So, like that. And then there's a plug just inside here. Let's get a good focus on that. There you go. There's a plug just inside here. It just pulls straight out from what I remember. Like that. Just pulls straight off of the board. Mine's been in and out a few times, so it might be a bit rough to get yours off. The first time I had to do mine, I had to put a screwdriver in just behind here. So where these mating faces are. I had to put it just in there and I had to pry off and pull it off. But that's that bit done. If you wanted to work on the CD-ROM, if you were coming into the radio for that, this is where you'd need to take the uh, top plate off. So you'd want to take off them four screws, like I said before, and you'll be able to get your hands fully in there because that top piece won't be in. But since I'm not going in there, I can just put the rest of that radio to the side. And now we've got the front face of the radio. For this bit, you need to take off these four black screws same as the other sizes so it's all just the same screw so what this is doing is getting this big metal cage off of the actual circuit board and it also leaves behind the front face of the radio as well uh, but you'll see that in just a second. But these are the last screws you need to do before you can get the circuit board out of the radio. After that last one, you can pull this just straight off. There's some clips all the way across the top, all the way across the bottom. What I found easiest to do is hold by the cage in one of the corners and just pry up with your fingers 
just trying to peel them off. If they don't come off very easily, you can shove a screwdriver down and just pop it straight off. But it should be nice and easy. Like right, the front face is coming off, you see it pulling away from the cage. There we go, it just takes a bit of uh, pulling and prying. Cage is now free, that can go with the rest of the radio. And now you've got the circuit board and the front face. What you do to get this front face off is you turn it around. There's these pins in each of the corners, the four corners. You, they have a little bit where you can squeeze, so you squeeze the sides. So I don't know if you'll be able to, but if you see there, it's on both sides. You can squeeze them and that releases the board, but you have to squeeze two at a time. Uh, mine are a bit damaged, so I can actually just pry mine up. So I'm pretty fortunate. But, uh, this bit's a bit fiddly, so it's going to be hard to capture any good video of this. There you go. And that's the circuit board. Out of there, the front face is off. Uh, and make sure you keep all the bits together because you really don't want to lose them. So, bam. And there's my circuit board. So if you are doing an LED conversion like me, you will see all the LEDs look like this. So there's one there, one there, one there. There were, it usually is one there, but I've burnt the terminals. There's one there, there. These are for, for all the numbers. It's four there, two up there, two there, and a few more up there. And I'll probably do a video for the conversion in the future. If you want to change the lights in the LED screen, you have to go around the back. You pry up these three tabs. These are like twist tabs, so you twist them straight, and that will pull straight out. And there's uh, two LEDs in this side and two more LEDs in that side. But you have to make sure you get the right LEDs. But that will be for a video in the future, because I'm still waiting on those LEDs. So once they come, I can show you the rest of the circuit board. The start of this video might be a little bit blurry as I accidentally left it on manual focus rather than autofocus. I'm still getting used to the camera and stuff. I don't know. I hope this video was helpful enough to help you guys separate your radio uh, for whatever needs you need to be in there for making repairs, modifications and all sorts to your radio. And uh, so this is the faceplate. This is the circuit board. And I've been Brett and you've been Totally awesome. No, and we're not doing that. No, 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 no. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.